In this video, I will compare Notion's free plan versus their paid plans, tell you what their differences are and tell you which one you may need. Now the free plan, of course, is completely free, but then they also have paid plans ranging from 11 euros and 50 cents per seat per month to 17 euros per seat per month and an enterprise plan with custom pricing. Now they also have a Notion AI, which is an additional 7 euros and 50 cents per member per month or nine euros and 50 cents per member per month when you bill monthly. So in the free plan, what you can do is have a collaborative workspace. You can integrate with Slack, GitHub, and more. You get basic page analytics, seven day page history, and you can invite up to 10 guests. Now comparing this to the plus plan, here you get unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads, 30 day page history, you can invite 100 guests, sync databases with third-party apps, custom websites, custom automations, charts, and dashboards. Now, there are some even more advanced plans, but if you are deciding between the free and paid plan, you will probably either go with free or the plus plan, since this is also the most popular plan. Now, I have used the free plan quite a lot, and if you're simply using it for personal use and you are just using it for note taking, maybe their calendar or some other pretty simple, straightforward stuff, then the free plan is absolutely perfect and really good. And you can even integrate it with Slack, GitHub, and even with Zapier, and through Zapier, you can integrate with thousands of other apps. Now the plus plan is really for if you are going to be doing some more advanced things such as setting up automations, specifically custom automations, if you want to create websites and get charts and dashboards, and if you want to get longer page history. Now if you hover over it, you can see what that means is you can view and restore past versions of any Notion page from the past 30 days here and in the free plan for the last 7 days. Also, if you need to have more than 10 guests, then you want to consider upgrading to the plus plan. And finally, if you need unlimited file uploads and blocks for teams, then the plus plan may be worth it for you. Now, for most individuals, the free plan will be more than enough unless you want to again create websites, automations and charts and dashboards. Now, it's also possible to sync with Jira, GitHub, Asana and more. And then basically data from those tools gets imported into your Notion account automatically when you are on the plus plan. So if you are working with a task manager like Asana and you would like to connect that to Notion, then you may also want to consider the plus plan. Now, what I recommend is just starting with the free plan, seeing if it's enough for you and if it isn't and you want to get access to some of their more premium features, then consider upgrading because the pay plan is definitely worth it for some people, but for some people it's not because they will have enough in the free plan. So just start with the free plan and if you find yourself running into some roadblocks that can be fixed by upgrading to the plus plan or even business or enterprise, then probably go in and upgrade. Now, if you want to get started with Notion, either for free or upgrade to the paid plan, then you can do so through the link down in the description. So that concludes this comparison of Notion's free plan versus their paid plan. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.